So that chimney is standing on that hearth over there. And Thorin, in real life, Richard Armitage is taller than Ian McKillen. <laughs> but that's not Ian. That's Paul. Paul's a policeman from Wellington. He's seven foot one, old Paul. Paul Randall. They call him Tall Paul. He did all the double work for the Lord of the Rings too. So when you see the tall um, Gandalfs, it'll be him. <laughs> and uh, if you look carefully, you can see sort of the gate there. It's just tucked in behind that grass. So they're standing here saying, hey, are you all right? And you go, oh, no, just a couple of seconds. more steps. And he's off down that way and out. The fence behind us with all the saddles and whatnot on it. And it's a little hard to see. There's a little shadowy figure just there. That's Bilbo. Mm -hmm. He gets given some dinner. They're building a, um, making a fire in that pit. And it's sort of, all it was was a light blowing away. But they want us to look at it as an as a audience and think, oh, they're staying the night here. So it's a campfire scene. And in the pot that's over the fire is some stew. And Bilbo takes the stew very carefully out of here. And he's wandering out with his bowls and up to the stable. And that's where it all goes downhill. And you can just about see a sort of the roof of the stable that's been stoved in. You just make out the cartwheel there. And um, it was all shot at night, like they brought all the, all of the different gear out for the nighttime shoots. So like there was these huge lights that came up, tilting above the, the treetops there, and they looked, it looked, made it look like moonlight. It was quite neat, actually, quite a special sort of thing. But yes, it goes downhill at this point. Lots of polystyrene and fiberglass trees. When they started putting trees in, I said, are you sure we need more trees? I just thought they'd lost their marbles, really. But there was like plums and apples and that made it look like an orchard. They're so clever at what they do. They, I said to them, well, how do you know which way Peter Jackson's going to film? And they said, we don't. Mm -hmm. We do everything, and then we're safe. So the whole, yeah, the whole lot's done, I shouldn't say safe. He's not an ogre or anything. It's just that he's quite organic. Kind of an uncomfortable little rock, learning his line. So if anyone wants to sit in that wee divot, where Richard Armitage is going. And uh, they're not very nice. They want to eat the dwarves and Bilbo, <laughs> and they have fought them, and they're cooking them over the fire. Now, of course, they're not real, they're digital, but the team that were here loved how this presented itself as a cooking area for trolls, so they replicated it. And I already yeah. mentioned we had Alan Lee here. Mm -hmm. Alan took photos of everything. That is a photograph he took of that, but he's added his own painted elements. You can see shunted things around. And from that, that's called concept art when they do that sort of thing. And from that, in the studio, they built that. Now, if you recall, Gandalf comes back just before the dwarves are eaten and splits the rock. Sun sunshine comes through and turns the trolls to stone. We would have quite liked that filmed here for real, but of course our rocks don't behave like that. And the sun doesn't rise there, it comes up over that way. So yeah, but this is the middle of Wellington City. And they're standing on the studio floor, looking at a couple of plastic trees and a green screen. They're just very good at what they do. And Ian's standing here in front of Bilbo and he says, Bilbo, I've got something for you. And he reaches there. And he says, um, gives him a sword, which almost says, I've not used a sword. He doesn't want to take it. But we're going to stand here, and if anyone wants to have a photo with Sting. But him and Gandalf want to talk privately. This shot is taken this way. That tree there is this one. So you're standing about, Gandalf's standing about where Radigas is, and, and um, Gandalf's about here, so the camera shot's this way. He's quite concerned, he thinks Radigas is. <laughs> so he walks away from him, and he walks straight down here. See this shot on the banister? That's about the right angle. I'll show it to you here as well, but basically there's a background there, see that tree arching away, this big rock, large white mark on it. It's happening just there. <laughs> so if anyone does want to sit there, I'd... So he's on his rabbit sleigh coming, busting through the bushes here, and when he lands just here, Everyone's in front of him thinking, what is this? And they've got their swords at him. And Gandalf runs down and says, oh, man, against the ground. What are you doing? He says, I don't know. He said, I had something to tell you. It was on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And there it is. And it comes out and Gandalf gets it. And he says, oh, it's not bought at all. It's a silly old stick. And he said, so he's a bit peculiar. Sort of gets set up to a lot of bonkers. But he's quite in tune with Middle Earth. And here the wife's closing in and everybody's sort of freaking out taken with a drone, hovering just out here. So see the, um, see that square rock? That's that fella. Yeah. We parked the van about there. And we're standing about where the stranger is, this chap. So yeah, the angle where you can see the tree here, this is the tree, is that thing all alone on that rock. And looking up at the night sky, 